Have you ever found yourself standing in your house and then you realize that it's not your house? The next thing you know, you don't know where you are. Am I dreaming? When we fall asleep, we move through various stages of sleep. So from the lighter to deeper stages of sleep, which make up non-REM sleep, and then we enter REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement. During REM sleep, the majority of our dreams take place, but dreams can take place during the non-REM stages of sleep, but they tend to be a little more mundane, like reviewing a recipe or preparing an outfit. The more vibrant and emotional dreams tend to occur during REM sleep. Hi, my name is Dr. Carter Stout, and I am a depth psychologist. One of the fascinating things about depth psychology is really learning how to look at and analyze dreams. Dreams are something that we all have. Most of us have no idea how to take a look at a dream. Dreams of flying are absolutely wonderful dreams. To be up in the air, to be cruising around, I mean, it's a fantasy that we all have from when we're children. And essentially what they mean is that at this juncture in our life, either we are needing to gain a different perspective on things, or we're in the process of starting to look at things in a different way. And when you think about that, we're looking at things through a bird's eye view. We're looking at things from up above. We're getting a new perspective. Dreams of being chased. Dreams of being chased are pretty scary. You're being chased by something because there's something here that you need to take a look at. There's something that's trying to get your attention. And once you find out what that is or what it represents, then you oftentimes will have an aha moment and say, oh, that's what it is that's chasing me. And I need to, that's something that I've been ignoring and I need to deal with. Public nudity, having a dream where you're naked or you're walking into maybe a final exam naked or you're just in a room full of people and you realize you don't have clothes on. Well. The dream really just represents the fact that we are shedding our protective layer and that we are extremely vulnerable in some capacity at that moment in our life. It's actually uh, an important dream and it's important for us constantly to be letting our defenses down. So when you're having a dream about being naked, maybe you're entering into a new relationship or a new situation where you are feeling vulnerable. And remember that vulnerability is a positive thing. It's a beautiful thing. So you're having a dream that your teeth are falling out. Of course, it's a little unsettling. That type of dream is often misrepresented as something negative or bad happening. And once again, this is a positive dream. If you think about in real life, when our teeth fall out, it's when we're going through major transitions. We're transitioning from being an infant into a child or being a child into an adolescent. So this is really about growing and transitioning and evolving to a new place in life or having some kind of big transition where they're stepping into new shoes. So dreams are a natural part of our sleep cycle and although we may not fully understand why they happen or what they necessarily mean, I think we can all agree that they are an incredibly interesting phenomenon. Keeping a dream journal is a great way to be more in touch with your dreams. Just a few simple little phrases. I was in a blue car. I was in Narnia. I was flying. Just a few simple things. If we write them down in the morning when we wake up and we revisit that, it will bring us right back into the dream that we were having. And then at a different time, maybe in the morning, we can write down a more extensive journal entry about what the dream was. So weird.